Roller skating is the traveling on surfaces with roller skates. It is a form of recreational activity as well as a sport, and can also be a form of transportation. Skates generally come in three basic varieties, quad roller skates, inlined skates or blades and tri-skates, though some have experimented with a single-wheeled quintessence skate, or other variations on the basic skate design. In America, this hobby was most popular, first between 1935 and the early 1960s and then in the 1970s, when polyurethane wheels were created and disco-oriented roller rinks were the rage and then again in the 1990s when inline outdoor roller skating, thanks to the improvement made to inline roller skates in 1981 by Scott Olson, took hold. History 1743, first recorded use of roller skates, in a London stage performance. The inventor of this skate is unknown. 1760, first recorded skate invention, by John Joseph Merlin, who created a primitive inlined skate with small metal wheels. 1818, roller skates appeared on the ballet stage in Berlin. 1819, first patented roller skate design, in France by M. Pettitbold. These early skates were similar to today's inlined skates, but they were not very maneuverable. It was difficult with these skates to do anything but move in a straight line and perhaps make wide sweeping turns. Rest of the 19th century, inventors continued to work on improving skate design. 1823, Robert John T. Y. E. R. S. of London patented a skate called the Rolito. This skate had five wheels in a single row on the bottom of a shoe or boot. 1857, finally, roller skating had gained enough momentum to warrant the opening of the first public skating rinks. The Strand, London and Floral Hall had these first roller rinks. 1863, the four-wheel turning roller skate, or quad skate, with four wheels set in two side-by-side -side pairs, front and rear, was first designed, in New York City by James Leonard Plimpton in an attempt to improve upon previous designs. The skate contained a pivoting action using a rubber cushion that allowed the skater to skate a curve just by pressing his weight to one side or the other, most commonly by leaning to one side. It was a huge success so much so that the first public roller skating rinks were opened in 1866, first in New York City by Plimpton in his furniture store and then in Newport, Rhode Island with the support of Plimpton. The design of the quad skate allowed easier turns and maneuverability, and the quad skate came to dominate the industry for more than a century. 1876, William Brown in Birmingham, England patented a design for the wheels of roller skates. Brown's design embodied his effort to keep the two bearing surfaces of an axle, fixed and moving, apart. Brown worked closely with Joseph Henry Hughes, who drew up the patent for a ball or roller bearing race for bicycle and carriage wheels in 1877. Hughes' patent included all the elements of an adjustable system. These two men are thus responsible for modern day roller skate and skateboard wheels as well as the ball bearing race inclusion in Velocipedesa Euro later to become motor bikes and automobiles. This was arguably, the most important advance in the realistic use of roller skates as a pleasurable pastime. 1876, the toe stop was first patented. This provided skaters with the ability to stop promptly upon tipping the skate onto the toe. Toe stops are still used today on most quad skates and on some types of inline skates. 1877, the Royal Skating Indoor Skating Ring Building is erected Rue Vite, Brussels. 1880s, roller skates were being mass-produced in America from then. This was the sport's first of several boom periods. Makaja C. Henley of Richmond, Indiana produced thousands of skates every week during peak sales. Henley skates were the first skate with adjustable tension via a screw, the ancestor of the king bolt mechanism on modern quad skates. 1884, Levant M. Richardson received a patent for the use of steel ball bearings and skate wheels to reduce friction, allowing skaters to increase speed with minimum effort. 1898, Richardson started the Richardson Ball Bearing and Skate Company, which provided skates to most professional skate racers of the time, including Harley Davidson. The design of the quad skate has remained essentially unchanged since then, and remained as the dominant roller skate design until nearly the end of the 20th century. 
the quad skate has begun to make a comeback recently due to the popularity of roller derby and jam skating. 1900, the Peck and Snyder Company patented an inlined skate with two wheels. 1902, the Chicago Coliseum opened a public skating rink. Over 7,000 people attended the opening night. 1979, Scott Olson and Brennan Olson of Minneapolis, Minnesota came across a pair of inline skates created in the 1960s by the Chicago Roller Skate Company and, seeing the potential for off-ice hockey training, set about redesigning the skates using modern materials and attaching ice hockey boots. A few years later Scott Olson began heavily promoting the skates and launched the company Rollerblade, Inc. 1993. Active Brake Technology, Rollerblade, Incorporated developed ABT or Active Brake Technology for increased safety. During the late 1980s and early 1990s, the Rollerblade branded skates became so successful that they inspired many other companies to create similar inlined skates, and the inline design became more popular than the traditional quads. The Rollerblade skates became synonymous in the minds of many with inline skates, and skating, so much so that many people came to call any form of skating rollerblading, thus making it a genericized trademark. For much of the 1980s and into the 1990s, inlined skate models typically sold for general public use employed a hard plastic boot, similar to ski boots. In or about 1995, soft boot designs were introduced to the market, primarily by the sporting goods firm K2 Incorporated, and promoted for use as fitness skates. Other companies quickly followed, and by the early 2000s the development of hard shell skates and skeletons became primarily limited to the aggressive inline skating discipline and other specialized designs. The single wheel quintessence skate was made in 1988 by Michelle F. Gelson of Capels Lake Resort, California, for the purpose of cross country skate skiing and telemark skiing training. Other experimental skate designs the years have included two-wheeled inlined skate frames but the vast majority of skates on the market today are either quad or standard inline design. Artistic Roller Skating Artistic roller skating is a sport which consists of a number of events. These are usually accomplished on quad skates, but inlined skates may be used for some events. Various flights of events are organized by age and ability experience. In the U.S., local competitions led to nine regional competitions which lead to the national championships and world championships. Equals figures equals, a prescribed movement symmetrically composed of at least two circles, but not more than three circles, involving primary, or primary and secondary movements, with or without turns. Figures are skated on circles, which have been inscribed on the skating surface. Equals dance equals, in competition skaters can enter more than one event. Solo dance Solo dance in a competition starts at tiny tot and goes up to golden, for a test it starts with bronze and goes up to gold. You do not have to take tests anymore to skate in harder categories, you must have couple of tests once you get to a certain event though. In competition these dances are set patterns and the judges give you marks for good edges, how neat they look and how well they do turns, etc. Team dance. This is where two people skate together doing the set dances. Most people skate with a partner the same ability and age. Skaters are judged by the accuracy of steps that they skate when performing a particular dance. In addition to being judged on their edges and turns, skaters must carry themselves in an elegant manner while paying careful attention to the rhythm and timing of the music. Equals freestyle equals. Freestyle roller dancing is a style of physical movement, usually done to music, that is an Euro unregistered trademark T choreographed or planned ahead of time. It occurs in many genres, including those where people dance with partners. By definition, this kind of dance is never the same from performance to performance, although it can be done formally and informally, sometimes using some sparse choreography as a very loose outline for the improvisation equals precision teams equals, a team of skaters creates various patterns and movements to music. Often used elements include skating in a line, skating in a box, splashing, and skating in a circle. The team is judged on its choreography and the ability to skate together precisely. 
equals singles and pairs equals, a single skater or a pair of skaters present routines to music. They are judged on skating ability and creativity. Jumps, spins and turns are expected in these events. Speed skating, inline speed skating is a competitive non-contact sport played on inline skates. Variants include indoor, track and road racing, with many different grades of skaters, so the whole family can compete. Group skating. Among skaters not committed to a particular discipline, a popular social activity is the group skate or street skate, in which large groups of skaters regularly meet to skate together, usually on city streets. One such group is the San Francisco Midnight Rollers. In 1989 a small 15 to 20 group that became the Midnight Rollers explored the closed Dalby Decker Embarcadero freeway after the Loma Prieta earthquake until it was torn down. At which point the new route was created settling on Friday nights at 9 p.m. from the San Francisco Ferry Building circling 12 miles around the city back at midnight to the start. Although such touring existed among quad roller skate clubs in the 1970s and 1980s, it made the jump to inlined skates in 1990 with groups in large cities throughout the United States. In some cases, hundreds of skaters would regularly participate, resembling a rolling party. In the late 1990s, the group skate phenomenon spread to Europe and East Asia. The weekly Friday night skate in Paris, France is believed to be one of the largest repeating group skates in the world. At times, it has had as many as 35,000 skaters participating on the boulevards of Paris, on a single night. The Sunday skate night in Berlin also attracts over 10,000 skaters during the summer, and Copenhagen, Munich, Frankfurt, Amsterdam, Buenos Aires, London, San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, and Tokyo host other popular events. Charity skates in Paris have attracted 50,000 participants. Aggressive in line, aggressive in line skating is trick based skating. This is where the individual performs tricks using a slightly different skate to normal. The skate has a grind block in between two wheels and the various companies have designed the boots to take these extra strains. Also the wheels have a flat large contact surface for grip. Aggressive inline can either take place at a skate park or on the street. Typically predominantly grinds but also air tricks such as spins and flips. Roller hockey, roller hockey is the overarching name for a roller sport that existed long before inline skates were invented. Roller hockey has been played on quad skates in many countries worldwide and so has many names. Roller hockey at the 1992 Summer Olympics was a demonstration roller sport in the 1992 Summer Olympics in Barcelona. Skating Federations, in the United States, the controlling organization is USA Roller Sports, headquartered in Lincoln, Nebraska, also home of the National Museum of Roller Skating. Nationals are held each summer with skaters required to qualify through regional competitions. Roller Derby Roller Derby is a team sport played on roller skates on an oval track. Originally a trademarked product developed out of speed skating demonstrations, the sport is currently experiencing a revival as a grassroots driven five-a-side sport played mainly by women. Most roller derby leagues adopt the rules and guidelines set by the Women's Flat Track Derby Association or its male counterpart, Men's Roller Derby Association, but there are leagues that play on a banked track, as the sport was originally from C1933 to 1998. Other groups, other groups include, International Roller Sports Federation, British Federation of Roller Skating, Skate Australia. In popular culture, 1916, Charlie Chaplin film The Rink is partially set at a roller skating rink and roller skating party. 1955, Gene Kelly used roller skates as part of a dance routine in It's Always Fair Weather. 1971, the song Brand New Key by Melanie Sifka uses roller skates as a theme. 1972, Kansas City Bomber, starring Rachel Welch, is about the roller derby scene. 1975, Rollerball a dystopian sci-fi centered on a roller skate-based tournament. 1979, Roller Boogie with Linda Blair, 1980, Xonad, with Olivia Newton-John, has roller skating as a recurring theme. 1980, 
Heaven's Gate with Chris Christopherson and Christopher Walken, which is set in 1890s Wyoming, features a scene in an early roller skating rink called Heaven's Gate. 1984, Starlight Express, a musical written by Andrew Lloyd Webber opened on London's West End. The cast perform on quad skates. 1995, Man of the House features a scene where Jonathan Taylor Thomas uses early model rollerblades to get around Seattle, 1998, in the Disney Channel original movie Brink. Inline skating is presented as an extreme competition for teens in California, 2005, the plot of the film Roll Bounce centered on a group of teenagers who compete in a roller skating competition in the late 1970s. 2006, in the movie ATL, set in Atlanta, the protagonist a Euro rapper, T.I. A Euro, and his friends had a great love for skating. 2008, MTV's America's Best Dance Crew auditioned Break Skate, a group of hip-hop dancers on roller skates. 2008, the song 70s by Laron Wolf and Kim and Jesse by M83, featured the Miss Sal Skate Dancers. 2009, the movie Whip It, starring Ellen Page and Drew Barrymore a Euro Barrymore also directing a Euro centers on a small town girl who joins a hardcore all-girl roller derby team. 2009, in the MTV television film My Super Psycho Sweet 16, a roller skating rink roller dome, 2010, in the movie Skateland, starring Shiloh Fernandez and Ashley Green, which is set in the 1980s, when roller skating was very popular and many teenagers used to go to roller rinks. 2010, in the first season Glee episode Home, a local roller rink called Rinky Dinks is used for rehearsal space for the Glee club after their auditorium is commandeered. 2015, rap duo Race Remod's music video, Throw Some Mo, is filmed at Moonlight Rollerway near Los Angeles, California. Alternatives, roller skating, like skateboarding, has created a number of spin off sports and sports devices. In addition to rollerblades and lined skates, there have also been soaps, normal looking street skate shoes with a concave plastic plate in the sole to allow grinds. Heels, normal looking street skate shoes with a single retractable wheel in the heel of each shoe, allowing the wearer to perform unique roller skating like moves at leisure while still walking normally when the skating functionality isn't desired. The fact that skateboarding and related wheeled sports are outlawed in many cities and suburbs makes the low key and spontaneous nature of heels all the more enticing to the same demographic. Heels were later also combined with soaps into a single hybrid shoe. Freeline skates, a class of unattached skates that wearers place under their normal street or skate shoes. They typically have two closely set inline wheels set with a short base under a small squarish plate. This arrangement allows for a range of motion similar to single wheeled skates like heels. Due to the lack of straps on the contact plate, freeline skates require constant motion to stay on, and are a particular challenge for novices. Two wheeled skates, there are also other lesser seen two-wheeled skate arrangements. Some resemble inlined skates but with two very large wheels bolted in at an angle from the outside rather than a center-balanced row of four smaller wheels underneath of inline skates. Others resemble freeline skates in that they have a small squarish platform, but with two medium-sized wheels on either side, somewhat between a freeline skate and roller skates. Orbit wheel skates Another spiritual relative of the freeline skate whereby the skate stands on a grip tape surfaced platform inside of a large hoop that contains a trapped wheel that can freely rotate under the grip plate each foot is planted on. The foot plates normally rest on the trough of the inner surface of these orbital wheels, with the toes pointing orthogonal to the rotation of the ringed wheel. It's said the experience of riding them is somewhat similar to skateboarding and there are variants with the two wheels connected so the rider is fixed in a skateboarding-like stance. See also References Notes Bibliography, Turner, James, in collaboration with Saidman, Michael. The History of Roller Skating. National Museum of Roller Skating. ISBN 0-9658192-0-9658. National Museum of Roller Skating, Homework Page, United States Amateur Confederation of Roller Skating.
American Roller Skate Dancing Part 1 Bronze and Silver Dances Edition X. An official USACRS publication. Pages 9. Picard, George. Titans and Heroes of American Roller Skating. National Museum of Roller Skating. For a comprehensive listing of roller skating rinks and teachers from 1950 to 1912, 120 hours longest non-stop relay roller skating marathon world records. External links, media related to roller skating at Wikimedia Commons.